currently in third place after a very solid short program, Oleg Tataurov from St. Petersburg. And he works with Alexei Mishin, who also teaches Alexei Ermanov, the current Olympic champion. And the marks for Todd Eldridge were good enough to take over the lead from Philippe Candeloro. Tataurov's triple axle combination. Well, a beautiful, beautiful triple axle. Oleg was 11th at the Olympic Games and placed 12th at the World Championships. I think that's probably because he hasn't yet proved himself as a startling or outstanding or superbly a position skater. He's a good skater, he just hasn't developed yet to being a great skater. This is an interesting variation. It was something that was really, it was called a broken leg sit spin. And it was usually done back in the 40s, 30s, and 50s with a real broken leg look way down low on the ice. had with so many of his jumps, just trouble holding on to the landings. And sit spins don't get far enough down into a sitting position. <laughs> Almost an 18th century costume.
Oleg Tatarov and his triple Lutz and the problem that he had with it. The reach, see the foot pulled up right too close to the edge, he didn't get enough height, and of course had great difficulty holding on to the landing. And this was a broken leg sit spin. Now when he did this, he should have been right down onto the ice with the legs stretched out. It almost, uh, almost becomes a good broken leg sit spin, not quite. And the marks for technical merit from 5.2 to 5.5. And those were really quite generous in a way. I think so. And the marks for presentation from 5.2 to 5.6. And I think that reflected the difficulty in the technical merit as well. Well, the results are in, and Todd Eldridge holds on to first place with an outstanding performance, edging out Philippe Candeloro of France, who in turn edged out his own countryman, Eric Nilo, by quite a margin. Right now, let's go to Julie Moran and the winner. Well, Todd, you certainly are on the comeback trail as we approach the Nationals. How does it feel to beat some of the best skaters in the world here? Well, it feels great. Uh, you know, after the Goodwill Games, uh, with competing there and competing against all the good guys there and coming here and competing against them again and uh, doing really well is uh, just a confidence booster, I guess. That was a pretty gutsy move to put that triple axle combination at the end of the program. When did you decide to do that? Well, I'd had the triple axle planned there anyway, but uh, since I missed the first one and that one's in combination, I decided I'd throw a double toe in the end just to make up for it. And it all worked out. Yep. <laughs> You're a crowd favorite, the people love you, but you've never won an international competition. Does that bother you? Bah, yes, bah, I'm not a lucky guy, but uh, next year uh, Todd's coming in France and he's, he was the winner. But I saw that uh, when I come in here, I could be first here, but it's not, it's not this year. So not today. I hope so next year. Great. Well, congratulations to